Hi everybody, this is Pat in the paper closet. I'm back today. Thank you for coming. Today we're going to be adding pockets and side tucks to our Cozy Winter Days Junk Journal. We started working on this two videos ago, I think. Maybe three. Whoops. So today we're going to be adding quite a few pockets. Well, not that many. We have two signatures, so I want to get three pockets in each. Plus, I want to get uh, one or two side tucks in each one. I just realized I only have two made. That's okay. We'll work on those. I have this ribbon from Christmas that has snowflakes on it with some glitter. Very pretty. Wired ribbon, so it should hold up good as a pocket. So I'm going to put that on this page. I'm just going to use my white glue, my liquid glue. I'm going to put glue around three edges, three sides. Not too much. This is ribbon though, so I want to make sure it stays. So I'm going to get the bottom very well. Just along the edge on the bottom and the two sides. Being that it's wired ribbon, I think it'll hold up on the top very well. I'm just going to place it a little bit above, about a half an inch from the, a quarter of an inch from the bottom, and even on both sides. I'm going to press that down. The napkin here for the extra glue. I really don't want to spread it, I just want to press it. Holds. Give it a couple of seconds. I'm going to make sure these two corners here are holding and the bottom and the sides. Oh, it's very pretty. I like that. It has glitter on the snowflakes. I don't know if we can see it. I'll see if I can hold it up. Can't see the glitter. I can, my camera's jumping. I hope that's not coming out on the video. No, the glitter's not showing up. Mm, maybe a little bit there. Okay. But it's going down, it's staying. I've tried this before, so I know the glue would hold it. Just want to make sure it has enough time to stick. Okay. I have made a few clusters. I think I'll put this one on here. And I have it come above the pocket a little bit. Now these, all these graphics that you see me using are the free graphics from scrapbook, no, digitalscrapbook.com. I have many of them. I typed in winter, little snowman. I also typed in snow. So I got quite a few. Soup. So I also got the sweater. This word snuggle. All right, I'm just going to glue this onto this pocket. Just made a little cluster. It's made out of scrapbook paper. Uh, the yeah, image that I downloaded, the word that I downloaded. And my graphics program, I printed them out on not white paper, but a background paper. This, this type of paper, same paper here. It's all printed on this rather than white paper. This way, when I cut it out, it would have a little 
eggs around it. And I'm just gonna put a little glue on that. Not too far up because it sticks above the pocket. Let's go around these parts. So right here. I'd rather put it on the right side than the left. So that would get in the way of the fold of the book. Okay, let's let that dry a little bit. Make sure we're not gluing the pocket to the page. I collage some advertisements that I got in the mail. They were a nice heavy cardstock. And on the back of this came this little puppy, this little dog. So I left him on there. I just collaged around him. Just want to check and make sure this pocket is not gluing down. The glue would go through the ribbon, I'm sure. I want to make sure it's open. Okay, that's good. Pocket goes in. The tag goes in. I also made some extra journaling spots. I'm going to put one of those in there. These are just lined paper that I printed on my computer. Just cut it and folded it up. I'll stick that in there. Okay, now we want to put one of the side tucks in. Let's see where I want to put that. I think I'll put it on this page. Let's try this one. This was a piece of the collection, the cabin in the woods. Cabin in the winter woods. I always forget the name of that. I scrapbooking with me, so I just cut out some of the trees, and then I make a side tuck, glue down three sides, just like a pocket, it's a long pocket that goes on the side, okay, with my glue, oh I glued the wrong side, oh no, Okay, let me wipe up the glue. Long edge. See, we all make mistakes. I just fix them. As I did my cover, you may have seen in the last video. Where I fixed the cover, the error I made on punching the holes. So we we'll just fix this up. Make sure we got that glue off there. Okay, now we're right side up. I'm going to put this along the edge. Sort of centered between the top and the bottom. So that would be a long pocket on the side. We could put a large journaling card in there. Or some photos. Another journaling spot, a lined paper, whatever we want in there. <clears throat> Here are the, uh, some of the graphics that I downloaded. I printed these on some on brown background and some on the blue background. Some of these were on a lighter blue background, as you can see here. So rather than have white all around them, I have a uh, background. Uh, what else do I have? I'm going to use tags. I have these tags I printed. This one says, let it snow. Fuzzy socks. Hot cocoa. Hot soup. Winter fun. Smile. So we'll be using some of these in here. 
I have also made another collage board, also out of advertising. So this I'm going to cut up into probably six smaller tags. So we'll get six out of this board. I just collaged all the papers that I've used in this journal as scraps. We'll be using that. We'll be putting lace on the edges of some of the pages. Not all, maybe three in each signature. So this will be along the edges of some of them. So we'll get to those, not in this video. Trying to keep these a little bit shorter. I know watching a 45 minute video is, even if it's a good video, it's too long. So I'm gonna try and make them shorter. Okay, that looks about as good. Maybe my ruler. <coughs> Excuse me. Open that up a little bit. A little bit too far glued in. I only want the edge glued in. See, it's a pocket now. All right, that's good. So when it comes to putting some, see, we have, I have this large journaling area that I fold it up. That can slide in there. That'd be good. I haven't decided yet what I'm putting in there. I'm also going to put on one of the pages I've made. I'm going to make, this would be actually an extra page I'm going to insert. This was the food coloring dyed paper that I made. <clears throat> I made it into a large sort of envelope. Here's an uncollaged piece of advertising that we'll use as a card. But this would be added onto here. This way. You know, this way. I'm going to put this over the edge of the page in the fold of the envelope. Go over the page. And then this one I made out of the designer paper collection. I added one of those ribbon pockets. And this has a flap on it. So we'll get glued here, not all the way over. And this way this will turn. We have a pocket here and a pocket here. And then we have this we can use for a page. We'll have a pocket here, and then this will flip up, and we have this whole page. So that will give us a larger area for a larger amount of items. I do have things I want to put in here, which have quite a few photos. So that will come in handy. We'll do that in the next video. Um, what else did I want to put in here? I think that's about it. I've used some liquid pearls on some of the items. Um, I put liquid pearls on a little bit on this little banner thing that I made. There's also some on this little card. It can be written on the back. Take the time to catch snowflakes. But I put liquid pearls in the corners. And I've used some stickles. I put stickles on the snowflake, on the snowman, sorry. This is a stickle, diamond stickles. They're clear, but glittery. I don't know if my camera could pick this up. My camera's doing strange things. I hope this video works. If not, I'll be doing it over, somehow. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Uh, we put on that side tuck. We put it in one pocket. Let's find another spot for our pocket. Have it over here. That's a good spot. We'll put on. How about the hop soup? I'm 
this is this pocket is a little bit smaller. I made it, so I put it more to this side. This way we have plenty of room for journaling, and we'll put this cluster on this pocket. So we're gonna glue three sides. My glue will co cooperate. Let me clean off the top. Let's see now. Come out. Okay. Three sides. We get glue. A little bit enough to hold it along the bottom and along the other side. And we'll put it up a little bit from the bottom and the side. Hold it down. Working up my extra glue. Give it a minute to hold. I'm going to put this cluster on this pocket. It says hot soup. I think I'll put it right like that. And I'll move it down a little bit. Let me get some glue on it. Hold it for a minute. Not quite a minute, maybe 10 seconds. Just long enough to let it catch. And this one also has a has a piece of that dark background. Piece of light background. This was a graphic from digitalscrapbook.com for free. Just sign up, create a free account, and you can download five items a day. They have backgrounds, they have graphics, they have fonts. With my ruler? Of course I can't find it. Here it is. I need to make sure the pocket's open. Yes. Okay. So that one's good. Let's put in another side tuck, one in the second signature. This one has a center. Love that picture. We'll put a side tuck on this one. Let me get my paperweight. Now this one I cut a piece, another piece of my background paper. I put some stickles on here to make it look glittery. Which I'm sure you can't see. Can you see the glitter? Mm, barely. Looks very pretty. Okay, so we need to do three sides of this. One. Get the corner well. Along the bottom. And the other side. Get that corner pretty well. You want you want that to stay in, it's not pop up. Okay, we'll put this one right along this edge. Find the edge of the paper. Here we go. a little bit too long but I could trim it. Press down the top and this side and this bottom. Wipe up the next glue. Give it a little bit 
to dry. Glue it down too far. You want the pocket hold. Alright, that's good. It's all open. Let's get this in here for now. Little lighting area. And then we'll do one more pocket. side or maybe a corner tuck out of this this way we can just insert something in there like my little paper hmm. here we go we'll just glue down two sides this way we'll have a corner tuck something large or small. Anything large? Let's see. Maybe put something that big in there. Anything. Alright, so I'm just going to glue this side and the bottom. Oh no, I've lost my camera on the screen. Hope I'm recording. If not, I'll be back with the rest. I'll find out when I'm done. I will put this not all the way to the edges. A little bit up from the bottom and the side. This is our little card with the liquid pearls on it. Just take the time to catch snowflakes. Okay, so we have one more side tuck, and then I'm gonna make one side tuck out of that ribbon. Let's see where the pocket goes. Put the ribbon on it. There it is. This ribbon. And I make a long piece for one of the side tucks. So I'll cut that out. When I come back in the next video, we'll finish up the rest of the pockets. We've got three in, three more to go. Two more side tucks, and then I want to add this extra page that I made. And I'll add the ribbon on the edges, and a few labels, and we'll be done. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button if you did. And also, please leave a comment below if you like the video or if you have any ideas on future things you'd like to see. And also, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. And in the little menu that opens up, just click on all and you'll be notified when the next video is up. Okay, so thank you for coming. See you soon. Bye.